Did somebody say a gold card? That's right, fellas, it might be raining outside. It might look like an absolute apocalypse about to hit, you know. But, fellas, that's, you know, put that to the side. Because today, we're opening up probably the sunniest Pokemon box that we've seen in a while. A Pokemon Sun and Moon Ultra Prism Soul Galio Elite Trainer Box. And basically, guys, if you don't know what an Elite Trainer Box is, it's easily the best Pokemon product that you could buy if you're just getting into the TCG. You're trying to convince a friend, like, suddenly, you're like, mm -hmm, really want to get into the TCG, but, you know, he's not taking the hints. You buy one of these, pretty much guaranteed fantastic pulls, and especially with Ultra Prism, the gold cards are out now. So, I've, okay, I don't, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to say it, but I've seen a couple tweets, and people have actually pulled the gold card out of the Elite Trainer Box, and I just... I just feel the energy. Do you feel the energy? Like, it could be our time. Basically, this is the box right here. Really sick design. Like, guys, they don't change it too often. And uh, they changed it for this set, which is absolutely fantastic. Got the boosters. Brand new sort of their deck dividers. We've got the brand new sort of sleeves. A, uh, a checklist. We can see the gold card. We've got the uh, NG cards as usual. The uh, thing. What is it? The, uh, <laughs> the thing. The Pokemon card holder. Everything pretty stock standard. I'm keen to crack into it. The barcode. An unknown new dimension and uh, saw Galio up the top. So without further ado, I'm gonna crack this one open. Let's get inside of it and uh, yeah, I'm just so excited. I love Elite Trainer boxes and this set is off the charts. Let's give it a go. Alright, so pretty much inside of an Elite Trainer box here. I'm gonna go over it super quick because I know everyone knows what's inside of it by now. For those who don't though, uh, we've got some deck divided, so pretty much if you want to store your Pokemon cards inside of this box, you're going to use these cardboard things and divide them from EXs, commons, and regular rares. We've obviously got blacked out yellow sort of see-through neon dice. These look absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got so many dice now in my collection, I could probably start up my own casino. And now we've got a, uh, a GX sort of tab card. And then the poison card, I mean the, the poison counter, damage counter, stock standard stuff if you want to play competitively. Then you also get... A bag of free energy cards because, uh, you know, hashtag YOLO. It's for competitive play again, but pretty much I just use it to make my collection just look a bit bigger, you know, because sometimes it's just looking too small. So, uh, and then we've also got the, uh, the Pokemon card sleeves right here as well. These are really sick. Usually they don't alter these. They're usually like what I thought they were going to be. Just a sort of peachy color all down here and then have Sol Galu here. But they've got a really sick tribal pattern they're going with right now. It goes around the Pokemon. Fantastic. And then, fellas. That's not the biggest party in anyone's pants. It's the amount of boosters you get inside of it. It's eight different boosters right here. And the thing with Elite Trainer Box is because this is initiation into someone's TCG journey, they're always going to give you absolutely A1, absolutely fantastic uh, pulls in your Pokemon cards. There's no other way to put it. Pretty much guaranteed to get a GX card, although I have been gypped a couple times. So uh, just to preface how many GX cards we're going to get, we're going to have a quick read of the, uh, the guide right now and find out what we really need out of the set. Welcome, fellas, to what is another classic episode of everyone's favorite show on the entire of the internet. Like, you know, there goes Logan Paul, and then there goes Reading with Flippin' Ando. So, uh, so I'm absolutely so excited to crack into this one. We've got an Ultra Prism Flipping Players Guide right here. Now, everyone knows, when you look at the checklist for the latest Pokemon card sets, you start from the back, because all the bangers are flipped. Oh, snap, look at this. They're at the back. Oh, I didn't realize the, uh, look at that. The secret rare energies are in this one. Man, okay. So we got the, uh, secret rare hammer as well. Secret rare skateboard. Oh my gosh. Already pulled the Palkia Swirl with the hood there. But those two gold cards, 173 and 172. Those are the, oh snap. We got like full training. This is like a whole bunch of sets in one, isn't it? Oh, damn. This is, cr look at those. Oh, Look at that Solgaleo dude. That is amazing. Then we got, uh, oh my gosh. We've pulled, I think, every single one of these in, uh, in Japanese. But, that is cra- Okay, there's what everyone wants, that full art leafy on. That's sick. But dude, look at this. Duskwing's Necrozma. That looks so wild. Oh man, I'm so excited. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's crack- Oh, look, there's two mascots. Let's crack into this bad boy. Let's do it. Come on, fellas, we can't be just, you can't just do this, like, unlimbered up. You gotta limber up. All right. All right, let's get into this one. You all stretched up, you all think you're all right? Okay, I just, I just gotta prepare. 
for all the jumping I'm going to do when I get that gold card. You see, you just got to vision it. You, the glass can't be half empty, fellas. This bad boy is going to be half full. So, okay, we ripped the door off that one. I don't know, as I said before, <laughs> these booster packs seem like the, the glue's not as strong as something. They seem really, really easy to get open, but no, uh, no beef with that. Kick things off with the fighting energy. We've got a Bronzong, Turdnator, my absolute boy. Got a Cosmog, a uh, Turtwig as well, an Electabuzz, Cherubi, Glen Meow, Mount Cornets. Oh, oh, that's 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 game. That's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. McGinn, a regular rare. Not a bad way. Still a mythical Pokemon. Still a legendary. Um, let's keep it going. We're gonna Lunala right now. So yeah, uh, honestly. Even if we don't get the gold card, Luna, I mean, uh, Leafy on full art, oh my god, what the flip happened here? Leafy on full art card would be another absolute bang I'm keen to get. Um, and then there's a couple of awesome GX cards that a few people were telling me about, so, I'm really excited. This set should be actually really, really fun, and, uh, we shouldn't see too many doubles either, because it's such a huge set, 156 cards, plus 20 secret rares, it's like 170 cards in the one set. <gasps> No, it's another regular rare. It's Lick Licky. Look at him. He's rubbing it in with his big tongue. Tongue looks terrifying. Imagine just walking around with a thing that big. Uh-uh, that's not, that's not on. All right, let's keep it going. Third boost back in. Honestly, this rate, let's just, let's just you know, tingle our taste buds with maybe just a holo card. Maybe we're asking for a bit too much. Let's just start off with a holo card, work our way out from there. All right, it's a Dark Senji Pokemon fan club. Got a uh, Eevee right there with the Vulpix, Stunky, Young Goose, Roselia, Roserade Reverse, and that. Oh, nah! It's another mythical Pokemon, but it's another regular rare. This time it's a Shaman. Call for Family and Glide. Alright, Leafeon, I'm look I really want the full art version of you. I'm looking at you right now. Giratina as well. That, that bad boy's. Oh, God. Oh, no. That bad boy's in the set. And uh, obviously the mascots would be pretty cool as well. So, Galleon Lunala. Okay, put that one to the side. There's the code cards. I know everyone's been telling me how good the codes are, and everyone's, and, oh, they've treated me so well. It'd be nice if the boost packs did the same to Uncle Ando. Okay, we've got the Turdinator there. Float Cell, Electabuzz, Chimcha, got a Sandshrew, a Vulpix, Reverse Bronzor, and then, oh, Fenton. It's another regular rare Toxicroak. Poison Jab and Extract Revenge. Okay, we're officially halfway through the boosters this Elite Trainer box, and we pulled four back-to-back -back regular rares. That's a, <laughs> it's a... It's a worrying sign. But, in saying that, the worst I've ever done on a uh, Elite Trainer box was two holo cards. Like, I didn't pull any full arts, didn't pull any GXs. I just pulled two holo cards, and that was the worst I've ever done on one of these. So I am low-key. I'm confident that we are going to get something. I wouldn't stress too much. Yanma, a Chimchar, and then... This is what I'm saying! Look at this! Woo! We've got a Dialga GX Fuller card. Dude, I told you, I knew they have the bangers in here. Low key got a bit too excited. When I saw the yellow right here, I was singing it's a gold. I was singing the gold. But, dude! Oh, this is what an Elite Trainer Box is about. Just getting bangers. Dude, I told you, I knew this was gonna happen. I love these. This is why I love these products so much. You can't go wrong. Overclock, Shred, and Timeless GX with 150. This is the dinosaur I wish they taught me about back in school. Like, this guy is an absolute beast. Yo, this is a sick Pokemon card, though. The texture is unreal. The yellow, the silver outline, 146 out of 156. That is insane. God, the shine is ridiculous on that. Like, it's actually really, really dark and gloomy outside. Yet, this thing looks like it's sunny. Changing the weather out here, that's fantastic. Alright, I'll put that one in the back, because I believe there could be something else inside of this box. Alright, Dialga GX, let's uh, bust it open, and uh, let's keep it going. Alright, Sweetie Code card, Whew, calm it down, calm it down kids. Fourth in the back, and maybe we pray for one more crazy pull. I mean, a full art card is bananas. We can also uh, sleeve it up as well, might do that one in a second. Gibble, Primplup Reverse, Shane, oh, that's a holo! Dude, look at this, look at this. No, hang on. Not a holo? Holo. Not a holo? Holo. That is so deceiving. Like, you could the easily, easily just breeze past this and throw it in the bin or something. Look, you can barely... The only way I can see it is just around here on his back. That In the camera, you can kind of see it up here too. That is bananas. 
It is a hollow. Um, but that is just so difficult to try and see. Man, I like that. Look, look, look at this. It's like when you write in, uh, in like, you know, you just put the lemon on the paper after you've written in that, like, invisible ink. Kind of like that. It's like invisible ink, but, like, you got to have the good eyes for it. No! Oh, gosh! Dial gets down! Dial gets down! Okay, no, nah, no, nah, nah, I'm sleeping this bad boy. I've saved him. I'm sleeping it up. That was disgusting. Oh, the whole... My set's breaking. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Okay, all right, all right. Daddy's in the sleep. It's all right. Don't, don't worry, kids. Back to the, back to the opening. Don't, oh, my gosh. That, that was too much for one day. All right, Diago, you just you stay there with Shaman and the holo cards, and we're just gonna crack into the second to last booster right now, which is a Giratina artwork. And uh, <laughs> oh gosh, I mean, after pulling pulling bangers and then letting them fall through the uh, flooring, your your day doesn't get much put put on edge after that one. All right, there's the code card. I'm gonna go four from the back. It's absolutely pouring outside now. Holy smokes! All right, let's go. Spirit Tomb Power Pad. Got a yo, what? Magnemite, Cherubi, Buneary, Hippopotamus, Trainer Card Reverse, and then a regular rare Electrive. Which brings us to the final booster. I don't know if we could get something, but let's shake it up. Load it for me. <coughs> that was a bit of a sloppy blow. Alright, let's uh let's do it. Final boost back. And guys, I I don't know if asking for a gold card's too much in the final one. But the first official Search for the Gold Card episode, Older Pad, Cherubi, Glam Meow, Snover, Hippopotamus, a Shinx, Reverse Trainer, and then regular rare Roserade. That's completely fine because check this out. We managed to get Dialga flipping GX full of card, as well as the Shaman Holo card. And dude, the Shaman Holo card, I rate it. I reckon it's pretty sick actually. So that was a fantastic boost of just Elite Trainer Box opening. It wasn't even a booster box opening. Um, let, me, let me know in the comments, did you guys get anything crazy? And tomorrow, we've got the Lunala one to open up. So stay tuned to the channel, make sure you subscribe, demolish the like button, it always helps me out. And uh, yeah, have a fantastic day, make sure you open some Pokemon cards, leave a comment, most of all, gonna keep on gaming. Alright guys, next time, I'll see you then.